I'm the 13th Wolfman. The people over at Lionsgate were nice enough to send over Hellbenders. Hellbenders 3D. Let's see, I'll tell you who it's at Star as well. Clifton Collins Jr. and Clancy Brown. But, uh. Whoa. It's basically. Um, the story is, is that when. When demons escape hell, you've got you got six priests who are well trained in sending demons back to hell. That they're called the they're, they're called um, the hellbenders, and they're basically. They're they're the they're the worst kind of priests because they're they're men of God, but they um they cuss, they they have lustful thoughts, they do all this sinning so that if in any case ever a demon gets in their body, they can commit suicide and take the demon back to hell. But they can't do that if they're if they're good priests. If they're priests uh, that you know they believe in God. They don't have a problem with that. But if they're a, but if they're priests that do good all the time, you know, and and never swear and never have lustful thoughts and never, you know, never commit any kind of sins whatsoever, when they die, they'll go to heaven. And the demon, it, their theory is the demon would go. Would would go free. Because they're not, they're not riding down the hill with them. So they're always on top of one another about, you know, committing lustful thoughts. And and Clancy Brown, who is hilarious in this, uh, uses swear words like it's every third word is a swear word in this movie from his mouth. He's blasphemous. He's you know calling everybody you know every other word in the. But um, one of the priests keeps a, a, what's called a sin ledger. And he says, you know, we got the big seven, the seven deadly sins, and the top, and the, the top ten, the ten commandments. And you got to be breaking one of those, one of those, uh, like, every day. And then you got Clifton Collins Jr., who is also one of the, also one of the priests, and He's a little behind on his sinning, you know. He's not exactly damnation ready, as they put it. And a demon, a demon named Sirt, and it's it's a uh, written S U R T R, but the last R I guess is is silent. Wants to come up to heaven. Uh, wants to come up to earth. Uh, and sacrifice enough men of God weak weak minded weak minded men of God into a pit to break open the gates of hell so that he could have world domination and it's up to the hellbenders to uh, make sure that that doesn't happen like I said this this movie's funny um, it could have been better in some parts, but I really enjoyed it. I was, I was enthralled. I, I it kept my interest. It's a hour and twenty six minutes long. So, really, if you take off the credits, it's an hour and twenty three minutes long. It's, it's a very fun movie. I would have liked to have seen a little more with um. I mean, basically, all they're doing for the for the most part when they say that they got a sin is they're always swearing, you know, or smoke, swearing, smoking pot, and you don't really see them commit any real big sins, you know. Uh, I can't think of her name, but she's actually one of the one of the six priests, you know. It would have been good. I, she's sitting there with like a you know, a playgirl or something like that, and she's having lustful thoughts, and that's the extent of it. I mean, it could have been, 
just so crazy. But it's a good movie. Like I said, I'll give it two and a half chainsaws out of four. You know, I, I think it was good. And that's where I'm going to leave it at. So I'll leave the link below. You guys can check it out. See what you think. Hellbenders 3D. Uh, the special features are God's Dirty Work, Making Hellbound Featurette, Audio Commentary with Writer-Director Jeff T. Petty and Cast, Fly on the Wall, Behind the Scene Footage, The Original Exorcism Short Films, and Theatrical Trailer. So there you go. Like I said, I'll leave the link below. It's two and a half chainsaws out of four. I'm the 13th Wolfman. And I'm on the prowl.